Hello, beautiful people. What it do? What it do? What it do? Where is your girl today? And welcome back. I have some powerful, beautiful, amazing messages that I want to share with y'all today. And we're going to be starting off. If you see the title of this message, then you see what it is. Your body is your temple. And I want to take this time, right? Uh, Most High wants to use me to take this time to um, just really explain what that truly means right because there's a lot of misconceptions and um negative or unhealthy connotations associated with your body and um the beliefs surrounding your body right and so a lot of people think that um the temple is the church right the building that we build these buildings that we build and that we create but the truth is your temple is your body right your body is your true temple that everything that you put in your body, everything that you entertain around your body, everything that you listen to, everything that you watch and, or um, spend time engaging with, all of these things have an effect upon your temple because your temple is your true body um, or your, your body is your true temple. And there's this common misconception that the church, the building that we create, the buildings that we build, are the true temple but the true temple is you the true temple is your body right so what are you putting in your body what are you putting on your body how are you engaging and interacting with the temple that is you right um are you doing things that is not in alignment with your true you right are you doing things that are defective or deflective um of your true self are you doing things that are going to have a negative impact and effect on yourself, whether in the short term or in the long term, your body is your temple, right? And one of the things I remember, I was in a church recently, and one of the ladies in the church, um, I had used profane language, right? And she was like, "Oh, you better stop cussing in a God, and you know, in the Lord's house, right?" And um, I want to clarify that there's a big difference between cuss, c u s s, and curse, c u r s e, right? Cussing is typically um, associated with words that we have commonly um, associated with profane language, words that we say aren't good to be saying, such as shit, ass, fuck, damn, right? We, we, we've labeled those words as, you know, as the worst words to be saying, right? But in actuality, there's a big difference between cuss and curse, right? When you are cursing something, that means you are damning something to hell or damning something or, or, or using it with ill, malicious, or mal intent, with the intent to hurt, harm, or damage someone or something, right? So there's a big difference, and I'll probably make a separate word about this, but just on the surface level there's a big difference between cussing right which is usually considered to be profane language and cursing a thing or cursing a place cursing a person right those are two different things but your body is your temple and so the things that you speak from your mouth the things that you um engage with on a regular basis the things that you're placing in your body whether it's the beverages whether it's the foods that you're consuming or a lack thereof, right? Because most foods, a lot of foods these days aren't even actual food. It's not even healthy for us, right? And so um, God wants us to know that your body is your temple. And so we have to stop placing so much importance on the church, this building, because ultimately it's just a building. It's just a building, right? And so we have to stop placing this massive importance upon um, the significance of this one building when your body is the true temple. So many of us put 110%, you know, into upkeeping our churches and our church homes and, you know, everything concerning the church, right? And I'm not saying to neglect the church or the building, right? I am, however, saying that we have to put more importance and place that same significance and importance that we put into the church within ourselves because we're the true temple, right? We have the true energy that that creates what is happening within inside of that building in the first place. Your body is the temple that creates the energy that created the energy that exists or is omitted in that church anyway. Without all of the beings that exist 
in that church, it would just be a building, right? Without the intentions that you set or the words that you spoke into and over that church building, it would just be a building. You understand what I'm saying? So like we have to learn 515 on the timer. We have to learn that um, we have to put that same type of energy within ourselves. The same way we're like, oh, watch what you say in God's house and watch what you eat and watch what you're doing in God's house. We have to learn to do that with self because yourself is the true temple, not that church, not that building, right? And again, I'm not saying it's neglected, but what I am saying is we have to learn to put that same energy that we've placed into that church building. Um, we have to learn to put that same type of energy and essence into ourselves because we are the true temple, right? We are the true temple. Your body is your temple. And, you know, to break it down even a bit more, when you think about, when you think, right, the thoughts that accumulate in your brain are contributed to your temple, right? And so it's like, is your temple clean? Is your temple being upheld properly, right? So most churches have like a regular cleaning service, right? Do you have a regular cleaning service? And I don't just mean bathing yourself every day, right? I mean like mentally, spiritually, emotionally, uh, financially. What is, how do you keep your temple clean? How often are you fasting? Have you ever fasted before? How often are you spending time with self? And if you are spending time with self, are you watching TV and movies all the time? Are you listening to a whole lot of music that you probably shouldn't be listening to? Are you engaging in activities even by yourself that is not conducive to your temple, right? So it's like when you think about the actual church, right, and how it has a regular cleaning service and you go to church every Sunday and you have midweek services on Wednesdays and you're reading your Bible and you're doing all these things, in what ways are you keeping your body your temple clean and pure right because we want to work we work overtime to make sure that we're going to keep the temple um of of god the church the church of the most high we work overtime to make sure that it is clean and pure and all the things that it need to be but in what ways are you doing that for your own temple when was the last time you did a mental cleanse an emotional cleanse, a spiritual cleanse, a, 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 a financial cleanse. When was the last time you cleaned your temple? When was the last time you fasted? When was the last time you meditated and spent time with you yourself and the most high? That didn't involve a movie, a music, a TV show. That didn't involve a thousand other people. That didn't involve consuming things that weren't for your best interest and highest good. So I say this, 808 on the timer. I say this, y'all. Your body is your temple. And it's time for us to start treating our body as if it is our temple. Do not do anything that is not conducive to the highest and the best good of self. But that's the message, beautiful people. I hope and I pray, I ask, it is my intent that this message finds everyone who it needs to find. It's your girl, Danae. Peace and love, beautiful.